People of YouTube, do you ever find yourself in need of an acoustic guitar? I'm sure you do. We all do. And that's why today we're reviewing the Kiesel Zeus. If you're not familiar with guitars like this, then you're probably thinking, Justin, is that really an acoustic guitar, or can it replace an acoustic guitar? Well, yes and no, and I'm going to go over all that today. But first, let me give you a few specs. I ordered this thing back probably three years ago, and I just got it. No, I'm just kidding. I got it like in their normal build time. At the time, it was maybe four months or something. So I got it, received it, and I loved it. I ordered it because I was going on the road with an artist and we were doing a lot of fly dates, and if you've ever tried to fly with a guitar, it is pretty difficult sometimes because the overhead space is only so large on certain airlines. We usually fly Southwest, they're pretty accommodating for instruments, and their bins are usually uh, bigger, but we were doing lots of songwriter rounds at the time, so uh, it's a bunch of artists all together on a stage and you know this artist does a song and the next 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 and then it just repeats over and over and I was carrying my regular acoustic and it was just a pain to travel with so when I started looking immediately literally like two days after I started looking they announced this and you couldn't order it right away but then a few weeks later after announcing it it was available to order its bridge and its string locking mechanism down here at the end are both made by Hipshot it has wooden knobs and tamarind? 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 I don't know. It has wood knobs. It has a spruce top and it has a mahogany body right? and a mahogany neck as well. It has stainless steel frets and one thing I got, this is pretty standard, this is a pretty standard build of this guitar. One thing that I added was the dots are all glow in the dark so that's pretty cool the the top side dots here and then the actual fret dots they are all glow in the dark which is, is pretty nice if you're in a dark environment as long as you've charged them up from either a, a uv flashlight type of thing or just walk out in the sun for a few minutes and boom you are ready to go let's talk about some pros and some cons the biggest pro is obviously the size. So small. The second pro is that it sounds pretty good. I have to be honest, and I'll show you that in just a second. But it's got a piezo pickup under the bridge here. I'm assuming. I've never taken it apart, but I'm assuming. That's the only place, I mean, there's nowhere else. And I know what you're thinking. Justin, there's so many ways you can say that word, okay? I'm just saying it like Jeff Kiesel says it, piezo. And I know there's so many different ways, okay? I've, I've heard it all, piezo. Pazio! Piazzo! That there's a Pazio pickup. And pro number three, it plays more like an electric guitar. Which might not be a pro. I don't know. It is to me. I prefer electric guitars over acoustics, so the fact that it plays more like an electric is better for me. Negative. I gotta be honest, I don't have a lot of cons. But I do have one. One big one. Especially when you're reviewing an acoustic guitar. Okay? Let me explain. If your thing is that you like to go camping, right? And sit around the campfire and sing Kumbaya. Kumbaya, I'm going to make a prediction that this guitar is not for you. It's just not loud enough to be an acoustic guitar that you would play around a campfire. To play unplugged at church. Play unplugged at a bar. Now don't get me wrong, I play it unplugged a lot here around the house. But if you're going out anywhere, you need to make sure they have a PA that you can plug up to. Let me show you. See what I mean? Now, let's compare that to that. It's just not great acoustically. So, if you're just noodling around, it's perfectly fine. But if you're going to play, especially with other people or people singing even, it's a bit low in volume. And it doesn't have that acoustic pizzazz. Hmm? 
Con number two is the problem of hanging a guitar when you're not wanting to play it, okay? It's headless. And it has a hard time hanging on a stand that requires a head. Let me show you. Okay, I've turned these cases around backwards so you can't cheat and read the logo names. Which do you think belongs to which guitar? Hmm? Can you tell? If you guess the Martin is right here, you would be wrong. This is the Kiesel. I know. I know. It's hard. It's hard to imagine. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that soft shell case, that's super nice and super small to travel with. But how well does it really protect the guitars? Because, as we all know, the hard shell cases. Mmm. That's good. You could throw this bad boy from an airplane and it would still survive. Liar. Okay, that might not be true. But let's see just how much this soft case protects this guitar from a major fall. Mmm. Go ahead and lock in your vote now if you think it's damaged. Here we go. Oh, man. Ah, forgot to put it in the case. Okay, so I'm not willing to drop the guitar from the ceiling or throw it off the roof or whatever, okay? But I will say that I've carried this thing on flights and thrown it in vans and all sorts of stuff traveling all over the US and I've never ever had a problem with it. The case is super small, so small, but it is very padded and it's not a super cheap gig bag that you get with like your first guitar or something. It's a very nice bag and I'm more of a fan of gig bags anyway because I like to just carry it on my back. I don't want to have to haul it everywhere, you know, holding it by the handle. So any guitar that I have, I would rather carry it in a gig bag. And I have other gig bags that are made by different companies that only do gig bags and they're amazing. But they're for normal guitars with headstocks and stuff. So these that are headless, I have never not used the Kiesel bag because it is great. Okay, so the two guitars do not compare acoustically, right? They're not really supposed to. They're two different things. But if we plug them in, the Zeus only has the piezo pickup and the Martin has uh, a blend knob. So it has a piezo and a mic inside. So I'm gonna turn the mic off and only use the piezo. And then I'm going to record both of them playing the same thing. And you tell me, which do you think sounds better? What'd you think? Hmm? Did you like one over the other? Did they sound comparable to you? Go ahead and put it down in the comments. Just lock your answer in. That's right. Is that your final answer? Was it? Oh, this, this is not a game show? Okay, so I have to admit something. I did something a little untrustworthy. You write to jail. Believe it or not, jail, right away. I was afraid some people might be a little biased towards the full-size Martin acoustic, okay? So what I did was mimed all of that. I did record the Martin plugged in and the Kiesel Zeus plugged in, but I mimed the video. 
So visually, when you saw the Kiesel Zeus being played, that was actually the audio from the Martin acoustic and vice versa. When you saw the Martin acoustic being played on screen, that was the Kiesel being played in audio. I forgive you. So I flipped it just because I was afraid that some people would immediately be like, oh, the Martin sounds better. All I can say is when I've gotten the chance to play on stages with other people playing acoustics, you know, there'll be five artists on stage and they've all got their own acoustic guitar player. They've all got normal guitars and I've got the Kiesel. But when we're on stage and there's a crowd out there making noise and you know, they play and then I play and then another regular acoustic plays, none of us are using the actual acoustics from the guitar for the most part because we're in a, a larger venue, it'll squeal if you're using the mics and all that kind of stuff. So most all of them use the piezo in their own guitars. So we're all using piezos. When you plug it in and you can compete with guys that have full size acoustics and they've struggled to get those on airplanes and I've, I've literally witnessed it. Sit, I've already got my seat, my acoustics above my head and they've come on a few people behind me and they cannot get their guitar anywhere in an overhead. So those are the days that I am glad that I have the Kiesel Zeus acoustic. So I'm not saying you should buy one and I'm in no way sponsored by Kiesel. I wish I were. Kiesel, hit me up, you know what I'm saying? I have millions of, of subscribers. Liar. But there you have it. I think it's awesome if you use it for what it's intended for. So stay tuned for my next video and be sure and click the like button down below that helps the algorithm. Please click it. I will dance at your wedding. Not really. Disclaimer. I will not. I can't dance. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm not going to charge you and I know YouTube won't either. So go ahead and hit it and I will be putting out more content like this and I have some other content that's in the works. It's a longer process so like some building guitars and stuff like that. So if you're into anything guitar, hit the subscribe, hit the like button and I will see you next time.